You're listening to the Amazing Facts Daily Devotional. Today's topic, Job, the Problem of Pain, Part 1. A Northwestern University study showed that people suffering from chronic back pain can have a decrease in brain size of up to 11%. People commonly regulate pain to a primarily physical realm, but science shows that it affects so much more, and so does the Bible. Job was one of those people for whom it seemed everything always went right. In fact, he was exceptionally wealthy, he had a beautiful family, he was in good health. In fact, he was not one of the greatest, but the greatest of all the people of the East. Job chapter 1 verse 3, emphasis added. He was of an exemplary character as well. He was a father who faithfully interceded for his children, verse 5, and a man whose conduct, personally and professionally, was continually blameless and upright. Verse 1. All these things were attributed to his wholehearted love for God. If not for the devil, Job's life would probably have continued on in this manner. But Satan, in his insatiable desire to malign the character of God, set his crosshairs on Job, besmirching him as a petty, opportunistic parasite whose attachment to God went only so far as his love of material gain. Verses 9-11. through So Job's character was put to the test, and Satan was given free reign over all his material possessions. Verse 12. As a result, in a single day, Job lost everything. His wealth, his assets, his living. Next, the devil massacred his servants and every one of his children. Verses 14 through 19. But while in mourning for his great losses, Job nevertheless continued to praise God. Verse 21. So the devil returned to God with another accusation. Job was a selfish coward who paid homage only insofar as his personal comforts were concerned. Chapter 2, verse 5. Thus Job yet again was tested. Wasting no time, Satan inflicted upon him painful boils from the sole of his foot to the crown of his head. Verse 7. And though his wife ill-advised him to forsake God, Job still remained faithful. Verses 9 and 10. He still loved God, but he was severely, inconsolably sad and deeply, dangerously depressed. He wanted to die. His world became small, dark, and lonely, like a coffin. He could see nothing but the hopelessness in front of him. Has your pain been so great that it is difficult to focus on anything else? Pray to God for light and strength. Our key Bible text today comes from Psalms chapter 77 and verse 2. In the day of my trouble I sought the Lord. My sore ran in the night and ceased not. My soul refused to be comforted. Thank you for listening to the Amazing Facts Daily Devotional.